hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today in this video we will be learning a basics of our javascript and i would recommend to watch for beginners and also for those who knew a few of javascript and recommend not to watch for those who are professional in a javascript and not to waste your time in this video so here are some frequently asked questions by the beginners who want to join a javascript that is is javascript a top 10 programming language yes javascript is a top 10 programming language and it lies on a number 7 in a 2021 and why should we learn javascript because if you have a hope of becoming a web developer and if you haven't got your heart set on a tech career being proficient in this language will enable you to build a website from scratch and it is a pretty useful skill to have in a today's job market and should i learn javascript in 2021 definitely yes you can learn the javascript in 2021 because it is a great language that can help you accomplish a lot both in your personal life and in your professional life out of all the programming language you could learn in 2021 so please do like my video and subscribe my channel and turn the notification bell to all without any further discussion let's begin our javascript tutorial so here is a simple html format and a styled css with some backgrounds and color and padding with the text align center and okay let's open it in a browser and let's see what i have written okay here's a written a javascript learning by upper road channel so first of all for uh, javascript create a main.js file and then go to index.html first of all we'll learn how to show a date and a time so create a button and unclick event with a show date function okay and then write today date and a time okay okay here you can see uh, okay now come down and write a p tag with the id and give s date so here we have two uh, javascript that is internal and external javascript javascript first we'll write internal javascript that is written in the same index.html file create the script tag and write inside a function and write a show date function okay this is there is a parenthesis sorry for i forget that function show date okay and then write document that get element by id that get element by id and write the id that is given in inside the p tag that is as the date as date sorry and dot inner html equals to date close parenthesis okay so it should show your date when you click onto this button okay here you can see the date is given and it changes uh, after every second as you can see so this is the inner inner javascript that we have used but we can use in this main.js that is external javascript as well so first of all let me write a comment this is external javascript okay now write the script with the source and write main.javascript and you can delete this internal javascript okay and you can see it works as well okay So okay, we don't need this style of CSS. Okay, come down and uh, this double black backslash is uh, called a single line comment and a backslash asterisk asterisk backslash backslash is called a multi line comment. Okay, where you can write a multi line comments in between this. Okay, now we'll be doing a simple addition for that. Write var a equals to twenty and var b equals to let's write at uh, 40 and do a var sum equals to a plus b a plus b and then write document dot write sum okay here you can see the result okay here's the result that is that shows 60 and you can write something some letters as well inside the quotation mark write the sum is and add a plus sign okay here you can here you should see the sum is 60 okay now we'll do same for multiplication write var multiply mul equals to a asterisk b okay and write document dot write and the sum is and the multiplication is sorry the multiplication is plus mul okay here you, here you should see the multiply 
okay the multiply is 800 now okay let's add a break over there for that add a plus sign inside the quotation mark use a break tag br that is okay here you should see this answer in two different line okay the sum is 60 and the multiply is 800 okay let's make it comment and our you can also do console.log and see the sum okay here you can see first you have to do in right click and then go to inspect and then click on to element and go to console and here we can see the answer is 60 okay, this is used by developers so let's see for one more example console.log and multiply you should see 800 okay okay i have a question for you uh, try to solve this and paste the answer code in the comment section pause the video and try to do it by yourself okay we'll be doing one more example for our constant that is constant for a pi we'll be uh, finding the area of the circle the, the pi is 2.1416 and let the radius that is let let r equals to 17 and then let area equals to pi pi into r into r that is pi r square as you all know okay then write document dot write document dot write area okay let's see the result okay here we have uh, lots of numbers so we can fix that as well write area dot to fixed and write the decimal where you have to fix the digit up to let's say 2 and it will show up to two, di two digit sorry and if we write 4 it will show up to 4 digit and if we write 1 it will show up to 1 digit okay and we can write some words over in front of here as well the area of the circle is plus the area to fixed okay and here you can see the area of the circle is 907.9 .9, okay so i have a question for you find the circumference of a circle that r equals to 33 using javascript okay so we'll be going for one more example let first name equals to question quotation mark inside prorows and then let last name equals to quotation mark inside channel okay and then write the document dot write equals to first name first name plus uh, plus last name okay okay let's see okay there is a uh, no space between the two names so we can do write this as well add the space here here you can see there is a pros and space or you can use a standard form which everyone use that is add a quotation mark in between the first and the last name okay so i have a one more question for you that is uh, write your first name last name address and phone number of a person using javascript try to solve it and answer the code in a uh, comment section okay so so now we'll be working on if else condition let my age equals to let's say 20 okay and then if we're adding a condition if my age is um, greater than 16 then uh, let's say document that right i am a teenager okay document that right i am a teenager or else if i am smaller than 16 age then write else then document that right i am a child document that right i am a child okay here is written i am a teenager because i have written let my age is 20 so let's make it smaller let's say 12 it should show i am a child okay so okay uh, if else condition is used for only one type of a condition and 
else if condition is used for multiple type of condition so now we'll be using multiple type of condition so that you can understand properly okay so let's make it comment as well and go for another right let my age equals to 20 again okay and if my age if my age is uh, greater than equals to 18 and double and means and okay and my age is less than 25 then let's say I am a teenager document that right I am a teenager okay right I am a teenager sorry you are a teenager okay and write else if my if my age is greater than my age is greater than or equals to 25 25 and my age is less than 40 then let's say document that right you are let's say 50 okay document that right you are an adult you are an adult and if my age is greater than else if write else if one more time else if my age is greater than 50 equals to 50 then document dot write you are older and if none of these is uh, correct then it should show you are a child if you are your age is less than 18 then it should show that you are child so write else document dot write you are a child so i am not first forward uh, fast forwarding it because to make to make you to make everyone understand properly so here is written you are teenager because my age is 20 over here let's write 30 it should show you are an adult okay here is you are an adult okay let's make it 60 here you it should show you are older okay you are older now let's make it 10 so now it should show you are a child okay i have done this now i will give you one more exercise for you okay here is a question grade of student if 80 above then write a if 60 to 80 then b 40 to 60 then c and less than 40 give it failed okay now we'll be learning about four types of loop that is first one is for loop second one is while loop third one is do while loop and fourth one is for each loop that we are working later on the part two okay now work on to for loops for now go to main.js for let i equals to one and add a condition i is less than or equals to 10 then write i plus plus that means uh, post increment that does i plus one okay then write document dot write inside i okay let's see in the browser here you should see okay one to ten we have number so we can write it in a vertical way as well so add plus inside a quotation mark write a br tag okay here's our number from one to ten So let's write a name, write a document dot write document dot write and inside the quotation mark write a uh, rare name, let's say upper rows, okay, and just write plus br tag, okay. So it doesn't get messed up, okay. So and remove the first one. So here you should see 10 per rows, okay. Now we'll be doing same for a while loop. and do while loop as well so example of a while loop i will give you so let i equals to zero and while give a condition while i is greater than equals to zero less than equals to zero sorry 
then document dot write then document dot write i plus plus this means i plus plus okay this means i plus one okay now we'll be doing same for do i loop giving you example okay write let i equals to zero here as well and then write do and then document dot write i i plus plus while i is less than equals to 10 okay here you will see from 0 to 10 as well now if you if i make it 5 then you can see from 0 to 5 if i make it 50 then you should see up to 50 okay now let's add our br tag over here as well i plus quotation mark inside a br tag okay here is our number from 0 to 50 so okay i have so i have written a question for you try to solve it and paste the answer in the comment section and the answer for all the given question are in the comment box so thanks for watching guys the part 2 is coming soon and i will start from the array of the javascript that is little bit harder than this so keep in touch with me so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye